Hi everyone. So, yes, I'm doing a lot of videos in a row. I have some catching up to do since I've been sick. Um, and I'm starting to feel better now. Um, I do apologize in advance if a cough sneaks up on me. I'm getting over my cough, but every once in a while they kind of creep up on me. So, I apologize in advance. So, today... Mm -mm. I have a new box. Yes, a new subscription box, as if I don't already have enough. Um, this one is another food subscription box. Um, it might come as a surprise, but I do like to eat sometimes. Um, just every once in a while, though. This is called Universal Yums. And this is actually their first box. This is for December 2014. Um, it's a new company. And I love... <coughs> Excuse me. I told you guys I'd probably cough. Um, I love their logo. It's the Earth with a bite taken out of it. That's awesome. Um, it's called Universal Yums. And they have two plans. And I will tell you all about them as I open up the box. Um, they have one plan that is $13, and you get, I want to say it's like six to seven items. And then the other plan is $25, and you get like 13 items. Um, I signed up for this uh, about a month ago, and it was $20. Um... So, I guess for, because I got in, um, early, before they changed the prices, I got my first one for $20, um, but next months are going to be $25, so, and also the email said that I would be getting a bonus item, because I guess the boxes were kind of delayed, it's their first month of business, you know. You gotta expect some snafus, but, um, it's not, what's today, the 18th? It's like the middle of the month. No biggie. So, anywho, what Universal Yums is, it's a food subscription box, and every month they feature, um, a different country. And for this month, it's all about the Germany. And I am glad that they fixed the spelling. Okay. The way that I discovered this box is from a YouTube video from um, Subscription Box Mom 12, I think is her name. Um, I'll post the link to her video in this one. Um, and I think she got like a like a prototype or whatever. Um, for review and when she pulled out her card <laughs> I noticed that they misspelled Deutschland which is German for Germany and I cringed I was like no misspellings are like oh, my pet peeve so it makes me very happy that they fixed their little error and it says Guten Appetit auf Deutschland which means you know, good appetite or, or, you know, good eating from Germany. Loosely translated. So, let's dig in. Oh my gosh, look at the tissue paper. Y'all, you know that I'm a sucker for detail and for, like, presentation. And this is awesome. In case you don't know, this is the... German flag. It's red, yellow, and black stripes. Oh, let's dig right in. And I already know, kind of, already what I'm going to get. <coughs> Sorry. And um, most of the items are not gluten-free. And if you saw my other video that I'm doing today, my doctor wants me to cut gluten on my diet. So, um, <laughs> and when I signed up for this, like I said, it was like a month ago, and, uh, these doctor's orders are only from, like, two weeks ago. 
So when I signed up for this box, I didn't know that I was going to have to be gluten free. So either either my boyfriend will eat them or I'll cheat on my diet and have a little bit of gluten. So then the first thing that I see are pretzels, salt lips. And they've got all the nutrition information in English. So that's cool. But it's in English. They have English on the front. Okay. Yeah, they have it in German. English. Spanish. And Greek. Interesting. Okay, next up, <laughs> it kind of looks like Pringles, paprika, chips letten. I'm sure these have gluten in them. Um, let's see if I can read German. Oh, oh, they have it in English too. Okay, hold up, potato puree powder, sunflower oil, potato starch wheat flour bastards just like Pringles Pringles have freaking wheat flour in them god damn it alright what do we have here pong sticks sour cream <laughs> sour cream geschmack that means flavor aus echten kartoffeln geschnitten oh, and then it has it in english made from real potatoes so what do we have in this one? Is it also off English? I think it is, but this packaging is so shiny. I can't read it. Oh my god. That's not cute. Okay, hold up. They've got potatoes, vegetable oil, Salt, flavoring, milk powder, whey powder, cream powder, onion powder, sugar, potassium chloride, herbs, flavor enhancer, MSG, may contain gluten, which means it doesn't uh, definitely contain gluten, so <coughs> I'm going to take a chance on these, and they look good too, they kind of look like little french fries, cool. And what do we have next? A bunch of, oh god, a bunch of candy. Of course, Haribo, which is actually a very popular um, brand here in the U.S. I'm sure everybody has had these, but probably not everybody knows that they're originally from Germany. And in Germany, they call gummy bears Gummy Baron. Oh la 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 la! These are good. Do these have gluten? No. And yes, y'all are going to have to sit and watch me look through the ingredients to find out what has gluten and what doesn't. Ooh, this is my bonus item. Oh, it looks like a crispy wafer. Hasselnuss Schnitten. That's hazelnut something. And I don't think it's in English. So we've got sugar. Oil, vites and mail. That means flour, doesn't it? I think it means wheat flour. I am going to double check on that, but I think vites and mail means wheat flour. <sighs> Moving on. Marzipan covered with chocolate. free and that sounds I don't think I've ever really had marzipan though but I, I will one of these days oh men are oh these have gluten in them for sure but goddamn these are good little lemon wafer cookie thingies and these are actually from Austria um not Germany, but Austria is a German-speaking country, 
so close enough for it. Pick up Lepnitz Chuckle. That kind of thing in Japanese. Um, I'm sure this has wheat in it. Yeah, there we go. Weizen mail. Because it's like a cookie thing. So yeah, that has wheat in it. And oh, Richer Sport. Okay, in case you don't know. And I've never seen one this small before. Ritter Sport is like the best chocolate ever. Ritter Sport and Milka. Those are like the two best chocolates ever. And this has cornflakes in it. Cornflakes. That's nuts. I've never had chocolate with cornflakes. Excuse me, I kind of had like an internal burp. And it's gluten free. Ching ching. Reason. We have these in America. I don't think I've ever had one before. Contains wheat. Well, what is it? Isn't it just a chocolate? It's. That's weird. What does it have in it? Okay, it says glucose syrup from wheat or corn. Well, if you could tell me exactly which one you used, then I would know. It also has modified food starch in it. And sometimes that comes from wheat. Sometimes it comes from corn. Sometimes it comes from rice or other grains. So this one, we don't know. Oh, God, these are good. Um, yeah, I got a little excited over this one. This one, I am definitely cheating on my gluten-free diet for this one, and it will be worth it. These are Happy Hippos, and they, it's like a very, I'll show you the side of it. It's a very light, crispy, wafery cookie type of thing um, with chocolate kind of like a chocolate ganache, I guess, on the inside. And then it has um, chocolate covered on its underside. And it looks like a hippopotamus. It's very cute, yeah. Oh. I love you, happy hippo. I'm so cheating on my gluten-free diet with this one. And we still have some more stuff. What are these? Okay, y'all. This is called Hitchler. I don't know about this one. Hitchler. Kinder Cow Bon Bon. Oh, which is like a, like, taffy, like a chewy... It says right on it in English, chewy candy. <laughs> there we go. My German isn't that bad. Um, but what flavors are these? Um... Ona, what? Ona, what? Without something, but they cut it off. So I can't tell what it's without. Sugar, glucose, syrup, blah, blah, blah. This is in German. I'm trying to read German, y'all. Bear with me. I don't think it has gluten in it. It says Ona, but it's cut off. Arbstoffe, I don't know. Mit Frucht, Fruchtsa. Oh, so it has fruit juice in it. I'm trying to figure out what flavors they are. They're like, I guess they're just fruity. Um, I guess I'll figure it out when I eat them. And the last item is Schokoreist Fruit. Chinleicht. Fuck Chinleicht. What does that mean? I don't know. Extra helle, edelfulmil schokolade. Okay, extra light, something milk chocolate. Mit Nüschbereis. With, I think that's crispy rice. Um. Do they have it in English? 
they do. Milk chocolate with puffed rice and crispies. Extruded from wheat and rice. So they're not just rice crispies. They're fucking wheat crispies too. God damn it. So if I didn't have to be gluten free, I would be ecstatic about this box because there are some good looking items in this box. And like I said, um a couple of these items I'm just gonna cheat. We're just we're just going to cheat. That's all there is to it. Um, but <laughs> it kind of sucks when you look at all these all these num-nums and you're like, Ugh, I'm not supposed to have that. Um, I'm not going to die if I eat gluten. For reals. Um, it's just better for me if I don't eat it. So... Um, I probably will stick with this box at least for another couple of months um, just to see. It kind of sucks that it went from 20 to $25 though. So I might change my subscription and go to the smaller box, um, especially since if I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff with gluten in it that I'm not supposed to eat. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, we'll see. It seems like a really fun box. Um, and like I said, if, if I wasn't supposed to be restricting my diet, um, I would be over the moon and just ecstatic about this box. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a good value for, for what I got. And it's fun. Um, you know, a couple of the items we do have here in the U.S., um, but most of these we do not, so it's really fun and cool to see, like, you know, snack items from different countries, so, and I'm kind of partial to Germany, um, I've never been there, I would love to go there, but, um, I took German in high school, so, you know, it's kind of my thing. So, um, yeah, so I, I will stick with it for another couple of months, and I'm actually excited to see um, what country they're going to pick for next month. So, um, yeah, Universal Yums, and um, if you like food, and you like culture, and <laughs> um, learning about other countries, um, pick up Universal Yums. They have two different options for you. And who doesn't love food? And, oh, there's a clue to next month's box. Hold on. Spicy snacks, amazing treats. You're about to get some real good eats. To say hello, they'll often shake hands. But if you speak Spanish, they won't understand. Hmm. Um. I have something in my eyeball. Okay, spicy snacks. I'm not, like, super fond of spicy stuff. I'll probably give it to Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I'm just buying a bunch of food that I can't eat. Hmm, I wonder what country it could be. What do you guys think? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I know. Oh, okay. Let's have a contest. Contest! Okay. Um... If you think you know what country they're talking about, post it in the comments, and I will send to you at least one item from the box. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do more than one winner. Yeah. Okay, so there's no hard and fast rules for this contest. Um, we're just kind of making, I'm going to make it up as we go along. So we'll have at least two winners, um, as long as we have at least two people that guessed correctly. And, um, yeah. So I'll pick a deadline, and I'll post it below, and I'll read the clue again for you, and I'll also 
I'll, I'll post it too, but here it is. Spicy snacks, amazing treats, you're about to get some real good eats. To say hello, they'll often shake hands, but if you speak Spanish, they won't understand. So, make your best guess, post it below, we'll have at least two winners if two people guess correctly um, and you'll get an item from my Universal Yums box. Um, you have to be willing to share your address with me though, that's the only thing. Um, but I promise not to stalk you too much. Okay. Um, Alright, well thanks for watching my video. Um, it's always fun starting a new subscription box. Um, yes, it's an addiction. Um, no, I'm not going to seek help for it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.